Ciao lovelies, it's Lenaria here. Um, I'm small and I'm wearing like a, a sundress and like a, a crochet thing over top. I didn't make it, but I don't know, something about like shawls in me. I don't feel like an old lady, I just kind of feel like a kid running around like cat wings, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, ciao lovelies, it's Lenaria here. I'm super tiny and I went out shopping today, this morning, whatever you want to call it. And I found some toys that I'm going to show you guys in the very small, small, small mini haul. <laughs> I thought I might as well. I haven't filmed enough recently, so. Uh, the first thing that I got, I got a Rapunzel toddler doll. Now, I have, um, I have other toddler dolls. I have Moana and Jasmine. Those ones I got from a toy, like, resale shop, like a thrift store kind of thing. Um, so they weren't really expensive, but my favorite princess is Rapunzel. Um, kind of. Alright, it sounds weird, but like my favorite princess is kind of Rapunzel in the sense that she's cute and I feel a bit of a kinship with her for some reason, but I think my favorite, my actual favorite princess is Tiana. But I do like Rapunzel, I think she's cute, and I couldn't find a Tiana, so I went with Punzi. Here she is. Alright, and then I got... This was on sale, and I like to get the mini brands when they're on sale because I'm never gonna buy these at full price. This is a Series 3. I know that sounds weird to say out loud, but like, I don't know guys, I don't wanna be spending all my money on mini brands, you feel? <laughs> like, sometimes I think stuff gets, gets overpriced simply because it's like a name brand kind of idea. That's what I feel like happened with mini brands. I feel like they got really expensive because they got really like popular or whatever. So, uh, you know, but yeah, I don't know what this one is, it just says Mini Brand Series 3. I'm assuming that this is just the normal little, uh, packages, like food or whatever, I don't think this is one of the fashion ones. Oh, I'm struggling to open this hair strip though. Why do companies insist on making hair strips when they don't function? Like, ugh, it's so frustrating, bro. I only got half of it off. Ugh, struggle. Hi, Pumpkin. Are you my sweet man? I came home, and Pumpkin's been, Boo's been doing this thing to Pumpkin where she smacks him, and she sometimes smacks him so hard, fur flies off of him. And I came home today, and our bed was covered in tufts of pumpkin fur, so I could tell that she bullied him again while I was gone. My poor little man. You did a good buddy. You wanna say hello? Do you wanna say hello? Pumpkin. 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 Up here, over here. He said, hi guys. He is such a sweet boy. This is my baby. Okay. Back to struggling with the tear strip. He's going somewhere. Where are you going, little man? If you're going to mess with the trash, I'm going to tell you now. Nope. Sorry, I can't let you eat plastic. <laughs> you may be my beloved little man, but I cannot allow you to eat plastic because you're my beloved little man. Understand? He's like, no, I don't understand. I just want to eat the plastic. Oh, I'm struggling with this tear strip. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm still struggling with this tear strip. <laughs> I'm literally like struggling, struggling. Like it's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Oof. Oh, okay. I'm done be whining, I'm sorry. Um, we got an orange, that's what these look like. <laughs> orange! Alright, hold on. Alright, I've, I've, I've opened it. I've opened the orange, good lord. Today's a day. Today's a day! Um, probably gonna continue to be a day. My brain is dysfunctional to say the best. Um, so, the first mini brand, here's our collector's guide too. So our first mini brand is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cups package. Uh, I don't know. When it comes to those types of mini brands, I'm not super cool with it because it's like, I could just go get wacky packages and sure, they say weird things, but they're also $3 for like five of them and they're hard plastic. So like, that's why I feel like mini brands is a bit overrated. 
it's also why I won't buy um, mini brands at full price because I feel like they uh, I feel like they take a, a lot of uh, I don't know I feel like to toy companies recently are more into like gimmicks and kind of scams than other things got diapers again just foam wrapped in plastic I could probably make something like this I'm not super impressed with this right now but we'll see I just I don't know the idea that it's that expensive and it's not even good like this it's just a cardboard box like with the mini brands ones especially they just have cardboard or paper in them I don't know the wacky packages to me is just better quality and honestly you could paint them to be whatever you wanted, so I think price point wise, they're definitely more worth it than these, because mini brands are a scam. Was that one just straight up empty? As I was saying, mini brands are a scam. No, um, ooh. Ugh. Another foam in plastic. I swear to God, are none of these going to be hard? Like, nah, that sounds weird. But like plastic, are none of these going to be like an actual, nope. Another little box. Alright, so I hope I've shown you guys why I don't, I don't mess with, I don't mess with mini brands because the quality sucks. I'm not, sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry that they became such a trend because it's cute and they're viral, but it sucks because they're not quality wise very good I and mean, they're still absurdly expensive. Now, that was series 3, so they probably have gotten better, and that's probably a pretty old one, but that's what I mean, like, every time I see people open mini brands when they get all the ones that are, like, paperboard and cardboard and foam, and I'm like, like, I think for mini brands, I'm gonna stick to the toy ones and potentially the real food ones and potentially the Disney ones, and maybe the fashion ones, I've heard of those too. I'm opening the APH Mal one now, by the way. Who are you? <gasps> Ooh! You're great. That's kind of like freaky deaky. You don't like that. This is Dewey. I, a plushie that I used to have. Um, and I gave him to my brother because I do not want. Hey! Heck yeah. This is my Miku that I got because I. I saw Miku blind bags for like little backpack danglers is what they called them, but come on now, she's definitely gonna be a character in a mini skate. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. I ain't gonna pretend. I'm not gonna front. You guys know that 90% of the time when I'm super hyped about a little figure coming in like a blind box, it's never for an actual keychain reason. It's always for my dollhouse. <laughs> if anything, I am consistent. <laughs> I, the rest of this is just me opening Botan Rice Candy because I want to see what the stickers I got in them were. And also I like them a lot, so. Let's see. <laughs> oh, cute! You got a little, a little friend in the car. But yeah, these are really good. Um, they're also, I mean, these aren't really price, like, effective or whatever because they're like $1.50 for one of these. But they're so good. And they come with a sticker and they're only, I, I've only ever found them at Vibe Below. And I just keep searching because so I need to find a place where I can buy these in bulk. I'm probably dumb and I could probably do it online, but I haven't checked yet, so maybe that's on me. Because <laughs> I didn't bother to look. Alright, hold on. Open up. Open up. Oh, what is this? Struggling. Oh, I got the same one. Damn. Well, I'll give it to my sibling because... That's what age your siblings are for, is giving each other small things and also hanging out and talking and sharing small journal ideas. Dude, me and my sibling, my age sibling, spend so much time just like swapping age journal ideas, it's wonderful. <laughs> also, the fact that you're supposed to eat these with paper on them is super weird, but it's rice paper, so like... I don't know, guys. Alright. That's gonna be it for me for today. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, please subscribe and like this video if you liked it. Comment down below anything you want. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you like fun content, uh, you're in the right place. Hi. Uh, <laughs> if you like fun content, if you are curious to see what the life of a 
everyday lifestyle regressor looks like. Hi. Um, if you're looking for craft videos, hi. If you're looking for doll stuff, hello. If you're looking for dollhouse stuff, hi there. Um, if you're interested in like kawaii culture and all that sort of stuff, that's also what I do. Like, guys, I gotta narrow this down, but I'm not going to because whatever. Uh, <laughs> okay, so all that being said, I'm going to the important part where I get to tell you guys, you puppies, to stay awesome and love yourself and you guys know that this is the most important part of my videos for me um, because it means a lot to me to be able to tell you guys that you're awesome and that you should love yourself because I don't know I feel like a lot of us have self-esteem issues and don't talk about it so it's important to talk about it take away the stigma am I right okay sorry I'm in a weird mood but Anyway, stay awesome, remember to love yourself, and I will see you in the next video, post, or whatever comes next. Bye lovelies!